Dr. Richard Bartlett here, there, and everywhere, kind of spread out over the universe right now, like a peanut butter jelly sandwich in Elvis's mouth. Uh, I don't know why. I, 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 it might have been Alan Funt, but and and probably ch uh, certain people of, of of a certain age would know. And I am of a certain age because I just had a birthday. But I, I right before uh, I came on to do this message, I was hearing "Hello, mother. Hello, father." Here I am at Camp Granada. I was lonely, now I'm better, except my bed's a little wetter. Now what that has to do with anything, I have no idea. But probably because I was hearing it right before I was to do the weekly message, it's probably for somebody out there. Some of you who are of the appropriate age that have heard the song and, and maybe grew up listening to it and laughing about it, uh, it might comfort you. Who knows? You know, one time I was in a seminar teaching and I was in the middle, there was about, I don't know, 300, 400 people there. And my son was running uh, audio and Melissa and I were up on stage. And all of a sudden I started hearing Help Me Rhonda uh, by the Beach Boys. And I leapt off the stage and I came over to my son and he was sort of used to me. It's, it's, you only sort of get used, you never really get used to me. But uh, I said, we have to play Help Me Rhonda right now. So we did. We started playing it and everybody sang it and clapped because it's a great fun song. I used to have a turtle named Rhonda. It had a, a lipstick or no, it was a nail polish painted with an R on it so we could identify her because we had about 27 turtles. Um, and anyway, we played it. And then this person came up to me crying and said, my I, I think I'm going to make this up because I don't remember the circumstances. My wife just died or something, whatever. And that was our favorite song. We um, we danced to that at the prom. And it says, I'm, I'm so grateful you played that. And I had to play it right in that moment. So right in the moment, there's always the information you need. There, there's ne not necessarily more than you need because if you, if you go for more, then you're back in the past or you're trying to pull something out of your from the future. And that never works. I mean, yeah, you, you, I'm going to, I'm, I'm the master of my destiny. Yes, Heil. And I'm going to encode my entire life now. I'm going to create my five year plan, then my 50 year plan. And never mind if I don't live 50 more years, at least I have a plan for living 50 more years, you know? Uh, and it's all just silly. You can't know what's going to happen, but you do know what has happened. But the trouble is, is what you think you know, you remember very faultily. And, and believe me, as you get older, you remember less and less correctly. But that's kind of fun because you can insert all sort of, sorts of fancy fan, fantasy wildlife and alien critters and things in your past. And it makes it much more amusing to your subconscious. And then you go there and you find yourself laughing because you don't even know what's going on anymore. I'll see you next week.